Hey guys, uh, obviously it's been a little bit since I've shown Sunshine in one of my videos, but today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on her training to become Michaela's service dog. If you guys have been keeping up with Michaela's channel, you guys know that I took a break, but Michaela has still been pretty regularly uploading. Um, and she has talked a little bit about the fact that Sunshine has been sick quite often. Um, and it's usually been, you know, around her genital area, like her bladder and, and her um, vagina area. And for a while, we really could not figure out why she kept getting sick. But recently, due to a UTI that she had, we were actually able to figure it out. She has something that's called a hooded vulva, which traps bacteria near that area. So that's why she keeps getting sick. And, you know, she had struggled with allergies before, so that's another thing. We were able to solve the allergies. Now it's just kind of this hooded vulva thing. Luckily, after having spoken with at least three different veterinarians and a couple, um, you know, higher up and more experienced service dog trainers from my program, I was able to figure out that basically this should not prevent her from working. We just have to take the right precautions to make sure that she doesn't get sick. So basically, after every time she goes to the bathroom, Michaela wipes that area clean and she does get a little bit more frequent baths to help keep her hygienic. Uh, and she's on a couple different supplements such as apple cider vinegar and an immune supplement to help make sure that she has a tough enough immune system to fight off those problems. This does not make her immunodeficient or anything um, at all. She's been pretty fine on antibiotics and that kind of stuff when she did have her UTI, but she has now been cleared by three different veterinarians to start working again. And we're just gonna monitor it to make sure that, you know, this extra piece of skin is not going to affect her working. However, because she's been sick, uh, as you guys have probably noticed, she's taken quite a few breaks from training and working. This has meant that she has sort of backslid in terms of progress and she has forgotten some things that she knew as well as basically not following the training progression that I was expecting for her. So she doesn't, you know, by this age, I would expect her to know some more things. So after having kind of like a long discussion with Michaela after Sunshine's last vet visit, we sort of decided that the best thing for her would be to sort of go through a boot camp, like reform training program. Now I have done these at the program that I work for, but obviously, you know, board and train would mean that I would be boarding the dog. And so normally we would board the dog at the program. But since I happen to live with Michaela, it just makes more sense that I involve her in the process. So we sort of created a schedule and like a list of our goals for it and we decided to start doing it. So I kind of wanted to document the process for you guys so that you could watch Sunshine progress um, and, you know, be updated because I know that you guys are invested in her career as well. So in terms of goals right now, maybe in a future video with Michaela, I'll talk about exactly what those are. But for right now, I'll just let you know that, you know, the goals are kind of in three tiers. So the first tier is behavior modification. Uh, while Sunshine has been sick, she's sort of picked up some negative habits because of the fact that she has not really had a structure or schedule or really a ton of rules. Uh, and because of that, she has picked up some not great habits or things that she thinks she can do that really we shouldn't be allowing her to do. So, you know, some of the things we need to change obviously include like crate training. You guys have seen Michaela's videos. You know that sometimes she has struggled with the crate training. Um, so that is kind of the first thing on our list. But there's a couple other things that we need to work on, especially around the apartment, just sort of to make sure that she is in general a well-behaved dog. Now, sort of at the same time as we're working on the behavior modification, we are also working on her commands. So some of her commands, she sort of, she learned them, but then like, it seems like she kind of unlearned them because we weren't working on them. So right now, especially sit, she seems to think that sit means down. So this is actually relatively common in a lot of younger dogs um, as they're growing up. You know, she went through her adolescence around the time that she was sick. So we really should have kept up on training during that time, but it was difficult because she was so sick. So now we sort of need to get back into making sure that she has all of her basic commands really down so that she can sort of go back into PA knowing those things. So that's sort of second on our goals list. And then third is 
tasks. So obviously there were some tasks that she knew, but some that she forgot, and then some that we actually hadn't gotten to teaching her yet. So I want to make sure that she, you know, learns all of those as well. So those are kind of the three tiers of goals that we have in terms of changing certain behaviors and helping her learn things in this reform training. So in order to do this, we set up a structure um, that includes basically potty breaks and crate breaks between almost every activity. This allows her to sort of, you know, make sure that she's going to the bathroom often enough because we want to make sure that she stays healthy in that area. And uh, it allows her to, you know, be set up for success in terms of not having accidents, as well as the crate breaks, letting her know that the crate is a positive thing and working on crate training during those different breaks will allow her to sort of have her day broken up so that she can sort of reflect and be calm and just sort of take a break between things because sometimes she moves too fast between things and that affects how she behaves during the next activity. So basically right now, right away in the morning, she gets a potty break and then her and Michaela train for breakfast. So her and Michaela will do that on their own, except I will be there supervising. So if they need help or if I need to correct the way Michaela is doing something, I can. Then we have another potty break and then I break out all the puzzles. As you can see here, um, we do kind of a snack so that she gets to, you know, work her mind as well. And then after that, she gets another potty break and then I do a training session with her. So I'm working on that list of goals. Michaela is more so working on like other things such as right now she's working on her positioning for deep pressure therapy so that she's happy with it. And then she gets another potty break and then she gets to exercise. So that could mean running on the treadmill, that could mean going for a walk, that could mean playing fetch, that could mean staying around here in the apartment and having Michaela play with her. Um, just whatever they're doing, they have to do, be doing some kind of exercise to help her earn the amount of fit bark points we want her to get to so that we know that she's adequately tired out for the day. Now the next thing that they would do is grooming. Right now, Sunshine Billy struggles with some of the basic grooming activities like getting her teeth brushed um, and having her hair brushed and that kind of stuff. So every day, Michaela is going to wipe her down with dog wipes and then give her a brushing. And then she will get her teeth brushed and then uh, once a week Michaela will trim her nails and dremel them with our nail dremel as well as doing a couple other grooming activities like moisturizing her paws and you know cleaning her ears that kind of stuff so those are the things that she will do once a week but then the brushing and stuff will happen every day and this should help uh, sunshine to sort of get used to the grooming and get used to being handled that way because right now she gets really squirmy when it happens. During that time she will also get treats and praise for you know staying still like we have these dental treats that we're going to use so that you know she's sort of getting her breath freshened at the same time so she will hopefully learn to start enjoying that grooming time. After that, Sunshine will then be trained for dinner by Michaela. And um, for both of these training sessions that Michaela is doing, like the meal training sessions, uh, I am going to give her a sort of like guidance as to what to be doing. So as of right now, they are working on placement for deep pressure therapy. But in the future, maybe I'll have them work on other things like making sure that she sits when being told to sit instead of laying down or other things that are on our goal list. Uh, and that will sort of allow us to kind of tackle those two things at once. So with me doing the crate training and the training session during the day, and then Michaela doing something else during the meal sessions that I know that she can do um, with like less of my assistance. And then after that dinner training, she will get one last potty break, and then she will have free time where she can just kind of roam around the apartment and just kind of decompress and chill out and uh, she can hang out with Arlo and just sort of relax for the night. That way she is ready for bedtime when it is time for bed. So for right now, basically I'm controlling Sunshine's day. I have alarms on my phone that basically have me remind Michaela to do things or do things myself. And that way Sunshine is getting a really structured day. And the other thing that's really important is Arlo is doing most of these things at the same time that Sunshine is. That way she can mirror him, uh, which helps her as well. She does really well with mirror training when it comes to Arlo. And it sort of helps her to be like, oh, you know, he's doing it, so I should also do it. 
So that's kind of an overview as to what Sunshine is doing right now. Um, I hope that that was sort of informative to you. I know that this isn't the most exciting video, but I really want to keep you guys updated and informed on what she's doing and what's going on in her life. That way you guys can, you know, stay in the know and not feel like you're being left behind. So um, if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and ask them in the comments. Otherwise, maybe something on Michaela's channel will act, answer them as well. So definitely go check out her channel in the link in the description. And I will keep you guys updated as much as I can. I plan to post her first public ac access reflection for this reform training, uh, you know, after this one, where I'll talk about kind of how this affects her public access training, as well as where she's at in terms of that right now. Um, because we did a public access reflection, you know, at the beginning of this reform training, and we're gonna do one maybe halfway through and then one at the end. That way we can kind of really easily see her progress from, you know, before, middle, and after. And yeah, uh, so keep an eye on my channel for more updates and I'll try to be uploading as regularly as possible. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye.